welcome to Around on Bike Space Camp. I've been tagged in something called 3x3 Challenge by Amanda from um, As the Magpie Flies, where I'm supposed to tell you three things about me that you probably didn't know, and also to tag three other people to do the same. This is obviously very difficult for me. No, it's not really. I don't have any secrets. Um, there are things that you wouldn't know about me unless you Google me. Uh, there are things that you wouldn't know about me even if you did Google me. Um, and let's start with what I do for a living. What do I do for a living then? Well, I work as a, you know, like a lifeguard in the public pool. It's nothing glamorous. It's nothing like uh, Baywatch or anything like this. I'll show you. So this is what I'm doing for a living. I'm a lifeguard in the public pool. It's not at all like Baywatch. It's not every day I jump in the water and rescue someone and do CPR. It happens, but it's not every day. So it's not very exciting. I walk around and I look so everyone is happy and make sure everyone is safe and tell people not to hang on the lines and you know, things like that. Not very exciting, but it supports my riding, which is the most important thing. So the second thing about myself, um, what have I done in my life before this? I live in Sweden. I was born in Sweden by Swedish parents. I have a Swedish passport. Um, I don't particularly like Sweden. I'm not a big patriot. I'm, um, I think borders are silly. And uh, so I've been moving around in the world quite a lot. I've been uh, living in, I don't know, half a dozen countries. I've been visiting, I think it is 62 now. And uh, the reason that I've been able to live in different countries, partly, that depends on um, my previous career choice as a scuba diving instructor. So I've been working with scuba diving and obviously you can live wherever you want if you teach scuba diving. So this is what I've been doing before. I've been living mainly in Egypt where I used to teach diving. I used to manage dive centers. I've been guiding trips, week-long safari trips and uh, specialized a little bit with the uh, wreck dives and the, and the shark dives. And I've been uh, writing guidebooks about the area, diving in the area. Um, published them and uh, yeah so scuba diving that's that's where I come from and probably why I ended up as a lifeguard in the pool so yeah the third thing that I'm gonna tell you about myself is I wear my socks inside out well I don't think it's inside out I think everybody else in the world are wearing their socks inside out and I'm the only one wearing them the right way and why is that then I'll show you, if you come with me, I'll show you. Why, 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 you wonder? Why is he wearing his socks inside out? Well, there is a uh, design fault in all socks. And it's this seam. You see here, this seam, it's really uncomfortable on the toes, and it's not, it's on all socks. Take another one. Same thing here, this seam, and it's not supposed to be there. It's, it's horrible, so that's why all of you are actually wearing your uh, socks inside out. I'm the only one wearing them the right way. So here is where I'm sitting editing my videos, it's a bit dark in here now, I hope you can see me. And uh, it's from here I want to say that thank you to Amanda for uh, nominating me in this uh, uh, little challenge, this 3x3 challenge. 
and I'm now supposed to nominate or tag three other people. Those three people will be, uh, I've written them down because I, I have a terrible memory. Uh, they will be uh, Kinga from On Her Bike. There are probably a lot of cool stuff you can uh, find out about her. And right now she's at home in Poland because she injured her, um, she broke her whole body while she was doing the GS challenge in uh, Mongolia, yeah. And then uh, George from uh, Staravaros. I hope I pronounced that correctly, Staravaros. It's a guy that I've come uh, to like a lot, his videos are fantastic and uh, he seems to be a really nice guy. I was supposed to visit him this summer when I was riding the Balkans, but as I didn't get all the way down, I never saw him. And Tony, from Old Man Tony, he's got this really cool uh, YouTube channel, really like down to earth guy it seems to be, and it would be nice to see him in this as well. So I will put links to all of them both to Amanda on the, as the magpie flies and to the people that I nominate and a little bit other stuff links in the description of this video so thanks for watching if you did watch this all the way to the well if you didn't you wouldn't hear this so yeah thanks for watching and I hope to um, I hope to see you in the future on my channel and um, please remember to subscribe and push that little, click on that little grey bell button so you get the notifications. Right? Uh, see, now I'm gonna get back to the editing of my Balkan trip uh, and see you on the other side.